Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2-litre SD4 HSE automatic four-wheel drive. Euro 6 engine, 2018 on 18 plate, one owner from new, great specification. MOT'd until the 19th of the 7th, 2023. Has done 78,910 miles. Fuel economy which is uh, absolutely fantastic for a vehicle this size. Urban, 36.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 48.7 miles per gallon. And combined is 43.5 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of eight seconds. A top speed of 121 miles per hour out of a 237 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. So multi-spoke alloy wheels, it's shod with Pirelli Scorpion Verde all seasons and to be honest they, they look very recent so uh, plenty of tread on them all round. Uh, nice discovery inset to the front wing also we've got these wheel arch protectors there so it's got keyless entry keyless go so we've got keyless lock there just put your thumb on there or any part of your finger on there and it, it locks power folding door mirrors come back to the car hand behind the handle that opens the door, you can just get in. And again, as long as you've got the key on you, foot on the brake, click the start button, and away you go. So LED running lights, high pressure headlamp wash. Front parking sensors there uh, in the lower part of the, the grill. The, uh, imposing Land Rover badge there right across the front. Um, I, I'd like to see a Union Jack by the side of it too. Uh, that would just finish it off. Rear privacy glass. It has the twin panoramic uh, glass sunroofs, uh, electric shade bands as well if it gets too hot in there, too sunny. And also it's got the third row of seats. So it's a seven seater. And it's a pretty ingenious way Land Rover have made of putting the seats up. Um, in the old one, if I'm honest, it was quite a slog, especially the, the twin tailgate. So you, you had to really reach in if you were, I think if you were only less than six foot, you, you'd really struggle to put the back seats up from the back. And then you had to get inside and put the seats up. There's, there's, just, there's just some switches. You click two switches and, and up they go. Rear tailgate spoiler. Power open, power closed tailgate. As you can see there, that bit folds down automatically when you do it from uh, the key. I don't think it does. Let's just shut it again. I don't think it does when you do it from the actual button. So let's just have a look. Reversing cameras there, of course. Yeah, so there you go. It, it goes down when you do it from the key. I must admit, I, I thought that was a bit of a stupid idea because every time I come to load my camera gear in it, um, I've got the uh, roller blind. Oops. Right. Seat belts. They clip under there if you're not using them. The rear seat belts clip under there. There's two catches. Then you can pull this back without getting it caught like I should have done. So as I say, when I open it from the back here, I, I come to put my camera gear in or anything in the boot and there's only this little aperture and it, it and it's a struggle you can click that button there and it, it knocks it down but obviously if you do it with the the key it goes down and then you just bungle your stuff in like like I've got there all the switches for the back seats are here so you can operate the back seats from here but you can also if you're getting in from the side there you this there's, there's a set of switches that you can put the back seats up from there as well so it's it is really really well thought out also let's just see if i can uh, find it there you go you can lower the back end again i'm, I'm not sure why you'd want to lower the back end uh, perhaps if you've got a tow bar on it or something i don't know but or that's that's pretty substantial can i sit on it no nah, i wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to sit on it. It's not, not like the old uh, Land Rover tailgate that you could just jump on. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that's for, unless it's just to stop you 
scratching the uh, bumper when you're loading stuff in. Could be that. Anyway, right, let's see what we're going to do it with. Oh, you've also got a power socket there as well. So, here we go. Reversing sensors in the bumper there. I've got my seat all the way back and I've still got enough room. I've got plenty of headroom too. It's really nice in the back here. It <laughs> doesn't look like it's been sat in. There's a full set of heavy duty rubber mats in the, in the car. You've got heated rear seats for the outside, the two outside seats. Um, here we've got central armrest. You've got Isofix rear child seat anchor points. And as I say, you've, you've got the the, the first panoramic roof over the driver and, and the passengers in, in the centre row get some benefit. And you've also got, because in those back seats, um, if there was no panoramic roof, I would say they'd be quite claustrophobic. But with that uh, panel over the top there, it's, it's pretty nice, it's, it's good. I also like this, I'm assuming it's plastic wood, I don't, I don't know. But it, again, that looks, it looks quality. It's, re, it's really, really nice. Um, I do like these also. I, I kid you not, I've only just realized it's a two litre because I, I just thought it was a three litre when I got in it. it. It just drives so good. It was only when I was reading the specification sheet that I realized it was a two litre. And, and the, the fuel economy of it is, is fantastic. Um, you know, I, I mean, I mean, I just don't know how they do it. Well, we've managed it. The forecast this morning was for rain, uh, thunder and lightning. Um, but I decided to take the ch chance and, and come and try and video the car way behind from holiday. We've got so many nice cars in at the moment that I need to video uh, and, and get on the internet. But uh, this is the nicest one. Just, uh, take my jacket off. There's the Land Rover keys. We have two of them, so long as you've got them on your person. Uh, foot on the brake. Click start, that's it. I'm going to remember the service history today. Turn that down a bit. So, service history 30th of 9th, 2019 at 23,511 miles, Stratstone Land Rover. 11th of the 8th, 2020, 39,431 miles, Stratstone Land Rover. 23rd of the 8th, 2021, 60,371 miles. Stafford Land Rover and we'll do it again before we sell it. So good service history. It, it is a lovely car as I say. Um, I, I, I thought it was a three litre. It's uh, all the power you could need to be honest. There we go, we've got reversing camera there and also reversing sensors. That's showing you where you're going and also what you, you might hit if you carry on in that direction. Got power folding door mirrors. In the door mirrors, you've also got a great, um, a great safety feature, the blind spot warning monitors. Here we go, that's, as I say, that's, if you carry on there, you're gonna run into those rocks it just draws your attention to it. To be honest, it gets on my nerves slightly, that feature, but if it stops you caving the front of your car in on a rock, then uh, <laughs> let it get on my nerves. Just the car to be in. I, I, as I say, the weather forecast was uh, thundering and lightning today. And uh, I was quite looking forward to it because what what car, what better car could you be in when it's absolutely lashing down? 
and, it, and it's inclement weather. They, they're just made for it. They're fantastic. We've got multifunction. Let's see, what is it? There you go. Height and reach, or electrically height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Three position memory seat. I've not done the, uh, I forgot to do the memory seat roulette. So we'll just stop here where it's, there's nothing, everybody can see us. So position one, which I'm assuming was the main last driver. So that's, I could drive like that. Position two, yeah. position three, I'm pretty sure this is a, a one driver car, I think. But anyway, so if I get it into my position like so, and then, um, where's the back rest? That's, there we go. That's the um, lumbar support, just getting the lumbar support right. So all, all, that's where I want it, the, the steering wheel, get the steering wheel where, where I want it. The door mirrors, like so, and then just click memory and, and one, and that's, that's it. It's, it. It will remember it every time you get in the car. It's not, actually that's not an ideal position, but let's just uh, have a bit of a play. That's a bit better. So yeah, multifunction steering wheel. You've got your audio controls and also your information display controls on this left-hand side here. Cruise control on the right, all nice and simple Land Rover stuff. You've got set plus, set minus, resume. So one button, that's it. Set the speed. Um, it's it's actually, it, I think this is the first um, new shape discovery we've had. I, I, I might be wrong. The proper f might be the second, but anyway, whenever I get in Land Rovers and Range Rovers, I always say that you know the the, the design they're so simple. The the design for farmers to get up at four o'clock in the morning with a big coat on and gloves on and still be able to work everything. And I, and I said that in one of my videos previously and somebody left a comment. <laughs> it's so simple to use, gets in a new shape of discovery and screams. Well, that, that's the info display now, the information, the, the, your, your audio system, your sat nav, just everything. <laughs> If you if you look at that screen, that's the home screen, but you can slide it along the eco data. I'll, I'll just click on that. It's quite difficult to click on it when you're moving, but there's all your eco data. You can go back like so, valet mode, in control apps, Apple CarPlay, which is brilliant, and, and I need to plug in. Whoops, we'll get over there a bit. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> When, when John picked it up, we're, we're a bit, if you ever watch the Muppet show, we're a bit like Statler and Waldorf, I think they're called. And uh, we're both looking at this information display and, and going, John says, oh, you'll have to do that. I'm, I, I, I'm not having anything to do with it. And, and then he says, and the seats. So, uh, if you've got a kid, if you've got a nine-year-old, they'll be able to sort it for you. But I have, I have made a video. I have made a video on how to do, how to do it and, and how to operate the seats as well. Uh, but it, it actually, pigeon, get out of the way. When you, uh, I'm going to put my sunglasses on. It's not it's not sunny, but it's uh, it's really bad hay fever weather. And the one thing this place isn't short of is pollen. 
There you go. It's a great commanding view of the road. You can see over the hedges. The, the suspension is brilliant. You can change the, it's, it's the rotary uh, gear selector, which I particularly like. Say it just changes the front with not having the, the gear stick there. You, it just, just feels like there's so much more space. And so as I say, if you press that down and turn it across, you can put it into sport like so. It's no slouch for the size of the car. Back into drive and you, you've got your paddle shift here. On the left, change down like so. And on the right, change up. As I say, when you consider the size of the vehicle, it really is no slight in a two litre engine. It's got this lovely wood insets to the dash and the door cards and then this piano black, which I particularly like. Steering wheel feels quite big, bigger than what I'm used to. A bit like a super tanker steering wheel, but Three rows of seats, the seven seats. Um, your climate control here, heated seats. If you this this button there, or well both buttons, the outside heater controls, they double as your heated seat switch. Or if you press the seats there, then you get the display. Honestly, just go back to switches. I, I mean, I'm I'm coming around bends here in this big car, these animals, these other cars come in. I just want to switch my heated seat on. I don't want to have to go on there. I just want one switch where I just don't have to look at it. I've got my gloves on, I'm freezing to death at going to milk my sheep or, or whatever, or shear my cows. I just want to be able to go like that, click a switch and switch my heated seats on. But that's me, and it wouldn't do for us all to be the same. You've got these, here we go. There you go, that, there's the blinds. It's nice light and airy at the moment. The last few days in my Range Rover Sport, uh, I love the panor panoramic roof feature, but the last couple of days, I've had the uh, shade over, because it, 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 it has been rather hot. And there you go, you can do the same here. and it makes my hair not look as grey <laughs> when that's short. Uh, what I should have done is stop there. I'll just, I'll just find a place to perhaps pull in and I'll plug the Apple CarPlay in. It's got the Meridian speaker system, which is tremendous. I'll pull in here where everybody can see me from both directions. Oh gosh, I just remember we've got the. I'm touching my phone, so right. Off. The car come in now. Car off. Handbrake on. Right, and here, if I plug this in like so to my phone. There you go, Apple CarPlay has come up. Apple CarPlay, I should have clicked remember for this device so it does it automatically. I'm gonna turn that down. Now I can start the car again. And, I, and basically I can do anything without touching my phone again. I don't need to touch it. I, c I can do absolutely anything using Siri or the, the voice activation. If I click this voice activation here, Send a text. Who do you want to send it to? Barry Crampton. Which phone number for Barry Crampton? iPhone or 150? iPhone. What do you want to say? 
It's not thundering and lightning yet. You were lucky. Your message to Barry Crampton says it's not thundering and lightning yet. You were lucky. Ready to send it? Yes. Looks like you're offline, but messages will try and send this. Yeah, we, we've, we've no uh, internet connection up here, but you, you get the point. And the, when, once you get a message, it'll, when it sends it, it it'll, it'll just fla fl uh, flash up a message on there. And, and you can do the same. Just click the voice activation here. Read messages. You have no new messages. You, you know, I mean, that Apple CarPlay is so brilliant. It really is. Um, you don't have to take your phone out of your pocket, and uh, it, it, it's an absolute marvelous system. Also, the you know navigation system. You're driving along. You, I don't know about you, but you know you're on the motorway, and all of a sudden there's a there's a load of traffic or whatever, and you want to navigate to a place. You, you know your way home, but you need to navigate round it, and you you can't do anything. You can't really touch your sat nav on the when you're on the road and on the motorway. I mean, it's it's difficult, even if you're in a traffic jam. But so again, navigate to Grosvenor Garage, Preston. To do that, you'll need to be online. You get my point, though. <laughs> so long as it can recognise your voice, and so long as you're not out in the country, it works brilliant, and it's fantastic. But that, that's it. You've, you've got, you know, Spotify, WhatsApp, Apple Music, Amazon Music, uh, Audible, uh, Books. I, I listen to a lot of books, and um, let's just see. Let's just go back and see if we've got uh, yeah, audio books there. Click on audio books, and there you go. And, and you can just, if you if you want it to play music, again, it probably won't work. But shuffle music. To do that, you'll need to be online. Bloody blah, but uh, anyway. Also, what what you can do, we'll just go back to Apple CarPlay, go to music, click music, and we'll click play. Elvis there. I kid you not, the, the bass in here through these speakers is vibrating the hairs on my legs uh, through the speakers down here in the doors. The sound is awesome. Um, it's a pretty quiet car as well. The car's lovely. Um, on the dash, your information display in the centre on the, on the left hand side, you've got your speedo. On the right hand side, you've got rev counter. On your information display, it's got traffic signal recognition, which again is, I, I don't know about you, but every time I see a speed camera, I don't speed, or I try not to speed. I, I, I've got no need to. I, I don't need, need to get anywhere that fast. Um, but whenever I see a, a speed camera at the side of the road, I'm always looking around for a speed, uh, for a, a sign, a, a road sign. What's the speed limit? This, it displays it on the on your information. It's got a 60 sign here digital speedo in the center telling me exactly how many miles an hour I'm doing outside temperature on the right hand side at the top coolant temperature bottom left fuel gauge bottom right and uh, tells me what gear I'm in how many miles the vehicle's done here we go We'll just check. Hill descent. There's a vehicle coming now. So there we go, click hill descent. So 
got hill descents on, there's a, a green car at an angle and also you've got kind of a green display. Now, as I've said before, it, we're just going down at a, a proper speed. Somebody, one of my subscribers told me that if you, you can actually, there you go, you can increase the speed you want to go down using the cruise control uh, plus and minus, which I never knew. So <laughs> I, get, I get a lot of nasty comments <laughs> left, <laughs> but I get a lot of great ones too. <laughs> the, the nasty ones I really don't care about. <laughs> so if you're trying to upset me, it won't work. But the, the good comments, the helpful comments, the comments that share information, proper information that help my other subscribers and our customers, I'm really grateful for those. So, you know, carry on doing that. I like that. I'm going to knock the hill descent off now. There we go. And we can just go away nicely. Got a heated windscreen as well, which is worth its weight in gold. It's so economical too. I mean, I, I use a Range Rover Sport, um, but I've no need for a three litre. Uh, at all, I have absolutely no need for it. I like it, it's a brilliant engine, but um, come on, Mr. Pheasant, or Mrs. Pheasant, that is, isn't it? just floats along. And you know, trying to get one car to drive, that's just gone, that's, I knew it was gonna do that. <laughs> Death by Land Rover. Yeah, the, when you think of the task that the designers have to make a car like this that will a go through nearly three foot of water b go off road have 11 inches ground clearance to, to go over rocks and stuff to be able to go through water as i say 29 inches or, or whatever it is i i meant to look before i i came out so don't go, don't go in water 29 inches deep without checking and then blame me for blowing your engine up. But it's got to do all those things. It's got to drive it comfortably on the motorway over all these bumps. And then it's got to take up to seven people. Um, and the weight difference from one driver to having seven people in for the suspension and to do all those things I don't think there'll be many people going off road with seven people in, but um, you know, farmers, they'll have it loaded up with a, a few bells of hay or animal food and, and then go off up there somewhere. So fantastic car. And you see so many old ones of them about. People go on about Land Rover reliability. And, it, and to me, it's always the, the people who either can't afford to run one, can't afford to buy one. Um, they're the ones that always complain about the, the reliability, the ones that have never actually had one. You see so many of these discoveries, the old discoveries still on the road. So many of the old Range Rovers still on the road, all the Land Rover products, all the Defenders, you know, old Freelanders, they're all still going. Um, I mean, <laughs> that, that's got to tell you something, hasn't it? I, I'm trying to think, um, you know, you don't see very many, or I don't, perhaps I just don't notice them, 
old X5s and there was plenty of them about when they when them X5s came out they were the world's best seller they were they looked quite good um, but you don't see very many about Um, I was supposed to video this car, well I was going to do it on Sunday actually because I've got a busy week this week, so it was cleaned on Friday, I went home in it on Saturday, I'm going to video it on Sunday but it, it's, we, we had a bit of that Sahara desert rain, hence the car's covered in dust, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, John came back in it after just picking it up. In fact, I don't think anything, I don't think it's been cleaned. This is how we picked it up. It's a really, really nice example. So I've done a video explaining how to use the Apple CarPlay and the, the normal system. And, uh, and how to put the back seats up. So, once you watch your... It, when you first look at it, you think, oh. But when you break it down into its elements, it's quite easy to program. And not as bad as it looks. I promise you. What else? Oh, I'll tell you what. I love driving these cars so much. I, I forget to do all this stuff and tell you about it. So it's got leather. It's got the contrast piping on the seats we've got uh, these armrests that pull down for the driver and passenger we've got a full armrest here which is great in here I think that yeah there's storage space in there whoops we've got uh, two that looks like a HD yeah it is it's a HDMI in um, place for a sim card two USBs power socket just, just a lovely car, really is a nice car, nice example. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.